First of all, I want to start this video by saying the words, holy shit. And I know the YouTube algorithm doesn't like swearing that early in a video. CSR Racing 3 has been confirmed by Zynga. There is not any gameplay that I can find except what might be on these web pages for their help shift department. So, what's up people? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel at 1.33 in the morning. Wow. This isn't what I expected. I was sitting watching a movie with my girlfriend, The Machine. Um, watching the movie, The Machine. I'm not calling my girlfriend The Machine. <laughs> That'd be pretty rude. Um, and uh, give me one sec. A subscriber of mine posted a screenshot of the icon and two other things on Racing Game Slovenia's, uh, Racing Gamer Slovenia's Discord channel, um, Jerry's YouTube channel, or Discord channel. And I was like, okay, I got to look into this. I got to find a leaked APK. I got to find something. And that's when I found this help uh, section. And I was like, okay, we got to dig through this for a YouTube video. What is this? What is CSR3? What can we learn from this player support webpage stuff? So let's say dealer trials, technical help, race regulations. We're going to open everything. We're going to look through this and we're going to dissect. We're going to learn as much as we can about CSR Racing 3. I tried looking on YouTube for gameplay video for anything about CSR 3. We might be the first people making a YouTube video about CSR 3. These were all posted 13 hours ago. This is new, new. This is as fresh as you're going to get without literally crawling their website with a bot and just looking at it. So we got a screenshot already. We can open the image in the new tab. It's not that big. It's kind of the same idea as CSR 2 from what it looks like. We just have the icons on the map. You tap on them, you race, whatever. Oh, hold up. They are using an Amazon bucket server with CloudFront in front of the URL. So we do have an ability to try to figure out what this Amazon bucket is, but it looks like it is protected properly. So we can't go in and start digging. But you know I'm going to dig through it in the morning. Anyway, let's get back to the fun here. So we got the screenshot here, dealer trials. What are dealer trials? This is the first feature that we are finding explained on their webpage for CSR3. Dealer trials are a way to earn car credits. A race ticket is used for each race and it replenishes over time. So that tells us two things already right there. What's a car credit? Race ticket. Race ticket is going to be a very touchy thing because that's a big complaint with Auto Legends. Well, not Auto Legends, but Racing Rivals that we're hoping that Auto Legends doesn't have is fuel. You're limited to how many times you can race and then you have to refill it with, you know, hard currency is what it's called. So real world, real money currency. So that would be like having to use your gold to refill your fuel meter in, you know, CSR as it sits right now. There are three categories, power, balance, and control, and each rewards a certain car model of your choosing. Okay, pretty cool. Graphics don't look too bad, but all of this kind of just looks like, you know, pre-rendered pictures. I wonder if this, like, is animated and kind of moves and shows different angles. I don't know. doesn't look like it since these don't move, but yeah, it's just changing the cars that are in the background. Hmm. But as we can see, so that's the only thing we see there. What's the troubleshooting step? Oh, related articles. What's an exhibition? What's a parts run? Regulation race? Was the two symbol on the qualifier? We'll go through all of that. We're going to go through the main things I found so far. So troubleshooting steps, this is just stuff for troubleshooting. What is a regulation race? So that was the next thing we had on that sidebar. Regulation races are a great way to earn more cash. There are three categories that can be selected, rookie, amateur, and pro. So easy, medium, hard. 
Uh, each category has a set of challenges, which gets more difficult as you clear them. Higher difficulties give bigger rewards. A rival is used up each time you win a regulation race. When all the rivals are used up, there are no more opponents available to win regulation races against. You'll have to wait for more to show up or spend gold to put the word out that you are basically looking for more races. Ugh, they're going really heavy on the in-app purchase, it sounds like, with that. I don't like that. And again, it's just like a background pre-render. Huh. Rivals replenish over time, or you can buy them using more gold. I don't like that. I don't like that. What's an exhibition? Exhibition races are another way to earn cash, keys, and gold coins. So that confirms that there's in-game cash, which we kind of already knew from the screenshots. Keys, just like CSR 2 for probably like crates to get stuff out of. Or gold coins, which is premium hard currency. There are three categories, power, balance, and control, and each has a set of challenges, which is specific type, so whatever. Here they are explained. Power, you can only join this using a power type car. Interesting. Yeah, so like you can see it right here. Drag power Ford Mustang GT with a PP of 493. It is one star. I'm guessing the star is rarity. 493 is probably, you know, the uh, car rating. Power balance control. Again, this doesn't look like it's... This isn't CSR quality, in my opinion. CSR 2 is amazing. So far, I'm not blown away by these screenshots. Hopefully we find a YouTube video in here. Balance, you can only join this with balance type cars. Okay. And control, you can only do control type cars. They don't have anything up there though. Only drag has it. And there's these, okay. Let's see, how do I update my game on Android? You don't. <laughs> Cause it's not out yet. Troubleshooting for Android, simple stuff. Don't need to worry about it. Out front URL. Browsing articles. So there's like billing stuff, which we can go through right here. Billing support for hotline coverage. Who can access the billing support? Bingo slash support. Cool beans, cool beans. Uh, why didn't I receive my currency? This is your standard run of the mill stuff for protecting their butt in case you get ripped off by the in app purchases. Game guides. <coughs> we'll go through that. Account settings. We'll do this next. Why did I receive constant uh, pop-ups, stuff like that? Nothing of major importance. Technical help and legal. Technical help, just troubleshooting stuff. Not a big deal how to connect your account. Legal stuff, again, not a big deal. Nothing to do with the actual game. Here's the game guides. This is something I do want to go through. I'm gonna move this. So, we went through that, we went through that, we went through that. Let's see, what's parts run, collection level, how do I upgrade my car, and what does the two symbol mean? Ah, parts run. Parts run is a race mode which gives you upgrade parts as rewards. This is sounding a lot like Racing Rival 7.0. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it's giving me flashbacks, oh no. <laughs> Each race requires the use of a rival. You can only have up to a maximum of three rivals at a time, and these will replenish over time. Or if you have gold, I guess. So you can do a rookie race, you earn two NOS, you earn two shafts, drive shaft probably, and brake assembly. Okay, uh, there are three categories, rookie, amateur, pro, and each have their own set of rewards. Easy, medium, hard, makes sense. Um, you can choose which parts you would like to receive upon winning the race. Take note that each upgrade part will have its own race difficulty and racetrack. That confirms multiple racetracks and potentially maybe different um, surfaces or different race uh, conditions. That's interesting. I like that. You know, I noticed something here, too, with these different tracks on the side screen. I didn't notice this yet because we only just got to this point. Look at this race. It's not perfectly straight. 
and it has these two icons. They have a straight arrow, which means it's perfectly straight race, I'm guessing. This is probably a terrain thing. Because if you scroll down here, look at what we got. Straight, but has one turn in it. So it goes straight and then it has a left turn to the finish. Very interesting. So they have multiple racetracks, but they're not perfectly straight. It's not regular drag racing. It's street racing with corners. So it's almost, I guess, like old school Fast and Furious. I don't know. And then there's the extremes. So you can see, I guess, difficulty of it. 105% chance you're not going to win is what I'm guessing. So literally, you're not going to win. I don't like that. I don't know what the percentage is. That's very strange because they don't really explain what that is. They just have arrows like it's a starter YouTuber making a video. I don't know. Give me one second. So what do we got next? We basically, we went through parts run. Next, we go through collection level. Interesting. So collection level CL. So I guess there's going to be a little icon that says CL for it gives you an indication of how good your car collection is. So they're giving you a rating for your car collection. Uh, you can increase your CL by adding new cars to your collection, increasing their star rarity, and by fitting upgrades. Increase your CL to unlock new features and benefits. So collect new cars, upgrade and increase, level up. Got it. Everything here is not that... Just eh. And then this just looks like CSR 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on i'm i'm my hopes are not high tap the helmet icon in the top left corner of the garage to view the details of your collection level i am not blown away so far but this is so far the only in-game actual like render that we've seen how do i increase my collection level you can increase your collection level by meeting the required amount of collection points for the next level collecting points are given by unlocking new cars and increasing car rarities. You'll also get milestones. So let's right click these because we go straight into it here. Here's the so far the only render, and I am not blown away by this. This is not the quality I expect from them. You can see the jagged edges and stuff like that. CSR2 does not have that issue. Now, yeah, this might be a blown up image. Maybe it's just a little. Eh, um, but it's not great. I'm going to make another video on this. We'll go through every car we see, too. But, ah, that one's not posted yet. How do I get cars is not posted yet? How do I upgrade my car? That is posted. That's cool. Is that a BMW? Oh, that's pretty sick. I... Charger and a or Charger Challenger Camaro? I don't know. Not very good with them cars. To keep winning, you need to upgrade your cars. Remember that the car you are currently viewing will be the one that you are upgrading. To select the car of your choice, just tap on the car in the garage's background. So just the car, tap the wrench to do upgrades. So here's the parts you can upgrade. So it looks like it's just another standard you got to do it in this order. It's a standard arcade upgrade system. But are there 15 upgrades? Boost your car in straight performance. They explain nitrous. Um, so we have... Oh, it's... It's almost top drives like. Which is really strange. Because... A couple days ago on uh, Jerry's Discord, I made a comment about top drives, how I was like, it'd be so cool to have a game that's a card game for collecting the cars, but also you can upgrade them and you have physical control over the car instead of an automated race. And that's almost what this is starting to seem like, because look at the way the car stats are. It's not horsepower. It's not torque. It's not grip. It's not boost. It's... The stats for the straights, the stats for the corners, the stats for rough terrain, and the stats for grip. Very strange. I got a Discord notification. One sec.
Anyway, so we have boost, we have engine, which is again stage three of fifteen. And yeah, it's almost top drives like. It's very strange. Why would they do it this way? Suspension, body, and then higher upgrades will also require parts besides cash. So almost like stage six parts on CSR as it sits right now. Oh, how do I upgrade my car? Uh, what does the two symbol next to a qualifier race mean? Some qualifiers have a two symbol on them. That means that this particular stage will have two sets of races. So you're racing twice. Got it. You will need to select up to two cars to be able to participate. Got it. That makes sense. After the first race, tap on next leg button to run the second race. When on both, to complete the stage. Got it. I don't like that this is all you see for your windscreen is, oh, I hope that changes. All you see is your race time against the other person's race time. And that's the AI. Oh, I do not have hope. I do not have high hope here. And that's almost everything here. That's pretty much everything on CSR 3. Racing 2... Yeah, it's actually, it is in this list. It's here. But, like, that's all we really have. And if you try to go to their actual Zynga webpage, CSR3 does not exist on this webpage right now. This is a little broken. You go to games, try to scroll through, you will not see CSR3. It's not here. Like, you can click CSR2, and it's not here either. You can go mobile. Oh, their Facebook's stupid. Or their website is stupid. So CSR2. CSR3 is not here yet. At all. We can go to CSR2 right here, and you can try to change it to 3. I've already tried different URLs. It's not here. Yet. Not here yet. So, anyway, that's all I can really find on CSR3 right now. I hope you guys are... Hopefully excited. I'll definitely pay attention and see if we get more updates. If I can uh, basically do some data digging on the CloudFront link, I'll let you know and see what we can find. But no promises on that because I basically have to hope that the bucket is wide open or that something like archive.org has already crawled it and backed up everything. So... I hope you guys, you know, let me know what you think about CSR3 in the comments down below. This might be one of the first videos on YouTube about CSR3. Uh, I've let Jerry know about it. We'll see what kind of video. It, I'm hoping he makes a video on it. Uh, let's see what we end up with. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's talk CSR3 in the comments. Peace out.